Hello and welcome to the 35th Tech It tutorial. Uh, well, this is what happened in the last one. This is why you make sure there's always a constant supply of water going to combustion engines. Yeah. Right, anyways, today, ignore all that. I c yeah, there we go. We are going to be looking at three interesting machines. The lava fabricator, which is in my hand. Oil fabricator. And the duplicator. Right, now first of all, they need power. A fair bit of power. It was written that one of these high voltage solar arrays would power two of them. However, I've proven it to power a lot more. Um, as in three are currently powering 12 and yeah, full power. I haven't fully tested how many they can power, but yeah. And yeah, they produce lava, pretty decent rates. It fills about one bucket per one of these per two, three seconds or so. That's mainly due to the piping though. But yeah, it generates lava, and here is the recipe for it. It's not too, too expensive, it just requires a lot of power. As you can see, it uses a mass fabricator to make, well, that's quite expensive, I guess. I mean, that's a diamond and redstone. Uh, but yeah, it's not, I don't think it's too bad, I don't think it's too bad. Alright, next up, oil fabricator. It works pretty much exactly the same as the lava fabricator, except I think it produces it a bit faster, well, it just seemed like that at least. A bit more expensive though, as it requires a diamond gear. Uh, only thing else different is TNT, really. Pretty similar. But yeah, this also eats through power, but 3, 12, that's perfectly fine. Right, now this is an interesting one. The duplicator. First off, I'd like to note it has no recipe. I am mashing R, but nothing is happening. That's because it's an item you can only get by cheating in. With fair reason, really. Well, first of all, it requires build craft energy, so I've just got a MFSU with an energy link in between. It's a bit um, fussy about what it'll take. I mean, it, I couldn't get much to actually hook up to it, really. I mean, probably because it used to build craft energy, but yeah. So I just put the energy link right next to it. But basically, you put any item at all in this slot. I mean, really, even lava still, and it'll make it. It's, that's it, you just need to pump it out with a Billcraft uh, engine and a wooden transport pipe. And yeah, it makes anything. It's brilliant, actually. Because you can't get it legit. Oh, I wonder. This would be an interesting test. Yep. It even makes spawn... What was that? Golems? It, yeah, it makes golems spawn. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Right, uh, this is a bit of a problem. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed that short, short tutorial. Like, favorite, and comment, subscribe. Uh, tell me if you want more bite-sized tutorials, if you or if you want more in-depth tutorials. Although, really, there's not much in-depth to do on these. There's no interface except for the duplicator. Um, yep, yeah, no interface at all for any of these. They just require industrial craft, then build craft energy. Anyways, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for watching and goodbye.